Today, I'm testing out this lens here, the Viltrox RF 85mm f1.8, and I'm going to see how it performs for street photography. This video has kindly been sponsored by Viltrox. Now, I'm in Birmingham today in England. You might be able to tell from my accent, I live close by, and I'm shooting with a Canon R6 paired with a Viltrox RF 85mm f1.8. The first thing I've noticed here is this rail, which lines up just about perfect with the high rise building in the distance. It works as a strong leading line, which is nice. So let's get the focus on the building and shoot it at about f5.6. Underpasses can be great places to capture people going about their day, giving you natural feeling photos. Here though, I've noticed that there's a reflective roof, so I'm actually just gonna wait around till someone walks in the frame and it's reflecting them on the ceiling. That's so awesome. So there's a pink tiger in a window. Now I'm really not happy shooting it from this side with the cone, so I'm gonna take it from the other side instead. But just casually hanging around here, it's gonna be better for me to wait until someone actually walks into my shop to kind of enliven the photo. So just waiting around for a little bit and here we go. We've actually got someone walking into the shop in just a minute. I love this reflective ceiling above me. You can't see it because, well, the GoPro is not showing it, but I want to get a photo of it reversed with two people walking in at opposite sides. One thing that I'm finding with the Viltrox 85mm f1.8 is that the focus is really accurate. It's doing what I want it to instead of me trying to force it to focus. It's just working and locking on to what I actually put it onto. This entryway or underground here has some really nice lines on the right hand side. So I'm just gonna shoot a picture straight off here and then just see how it turns out. I had my heart really set today and getting some nice tram shots in Birmingham. They've got a beautiful tram system here, but because of all the works going on, many of them are not running. They just seem to be stationary. I'm always looking for different lights when I'm around the underpasses because they can bring a photo to life by adding like depth and interest and even character. But getting the composition right is worth spending extra time on first before you actually take the photo. I really like the way the edge of this wall and ceiling kind of frame that crane and high rise. Not really sure it completely works. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. So far, you should have actually been able to see that this lens takes some really good quality photos. It's about £330 or $399. This makes it a great alternative to the Canon RF 85mm f2, which is £650 and that's nearly double the price, giving you a really nice saving. I think it's about time to start for a coffee and get a little bit of caffeine in me. But first, a photo of the coffee shop, why not, with this lovely warm sunlight falling on it.
I actually came out today because I wanted to test this lens with a bit of night photography. I've come out later than usual, so with its low aperture of f1.8, I'm hoping it's going to perform well. Now towards the end of the day, you can get these beautiful golden light moments where the side of the building provides a nice photo opportunity. I really don't know why I was expecting to struggle today using an 85mm so much. I mean, it's not in my comfort zone when I'm doing street photography, but I felt really at home using this lens. It's a great third party lens, and I'm really happy that manufacturers are getting on board with the RF mount, providing photographers like me and you guys with cheaper alternatives and options where you're not sacrificing on performance, but you're getting it at a lower cost. So the sun's almost down now and we're going to head to another spot in the city to do a little bit of night photography. So doing night street photography on your own can be a little bit daunting and dangerous at times. But if you're safe and perhaps you go with friends, which is a good idea, it can be some of the most enjoyable and rewarding street photography that you'll ever do. I like the way these pillars just frame this woman who is casually sitting down on her phone. These little fountains here provide a nice foreground for the alchemist that you can just see blurred in the background. When you're doing night photography, the lights from your surroundings can play a big part in your photos. Like these arches here, with the way they're lit up and then you've got the silhouette of the people around them. been out now for a few hours taking photos around Birmingham city centre and not at any point have I had any issues with this lens's performance. It's found focus almost every time, it takes a good quality photograph and it's well made. It's solid build quality, makes it feel durable and long lasting, it's got a beautiful big piece of glass which always makes you feel a little bit more comfortable when you're using a prime lens. Now, I don't know why it is that I'm surprised, but Viltrox have done great things with this lens, and I really don't think anyone using this lens specifically for street photography will be disappointed. It's great as well that you've got this lower aperture to use for night photography like I'm doing now. It just gives you more options and it's just great to have that if you need it.
want to thank you guys for joining me in the video today. Now, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. It'd be great to have you join the channel here at Ben's Guide.